most projects that you're working on, you should have one main project like this one, then perhaps another couple of smaller ones, for example, mini projects, just like these. When you're ready and finished all your project, done all your spell checking, page numbers and everything, and you're ready to hand in, you can export it as a PDF. All you need to do is go to File at the very top, go to Adobe PDF Presets, then make sure you select the high quality print setting. Once you press this, you'll get a second window come up. Now I'm saving all of my work in one project folder, hopefully you've done the same. So it keeps the same number and it will duplicate it as a PDF. So then you can just click Save. Then you should get this window up. Now it's really important, especially like on my document here, if you've exploited double page spreads that you don't want them to be split up. To stop this from happening, you need to click on Spreads just here. Then it will save everything as double page spreads. You then click Export. Now some of your projects are quite large. They may take a while to actually save, so sometimes up to a couple of minutes. You'll be able to go to where you've saved all your uh, projects, go to where your project folder is. And you should see after a few minutes that it's saved it as a PDF. So I've got my original InDesign file, then a PDF here. And once you know it's saved, it will, instead of it saying naught here, it will have some kind of megabytes. Yours might be a lot larger than mine. So then I want to go back and do the same with my mini project. So File, Adobe PDFs Presets, High Quality Print. It's automatically wanted to save in the area where I save my InDesign. Click Save. Again, I want to click Spreads so if I want to keep them as double pages like I do. Then export. Just to go through that one more time. So my other mini project, so file, Adobe PDF preset, high quality print. Click save. Make sure I click the spreads option and click export. And then again, as you can see, I've got all my mini projects as InDesign files and I've now got them as PDFs here. Now obviously I've got multiple PDFs here. And I want to save things as one PDF, so we can look at merging all these to create one project at the end. You may have created some of your mini projects, especially if they're presentations like your pastel one, in PowerPoint. So with this you just need to save it as a PDF too, so just like you with any other file, go to File, Save As, and then make sure you click PDF. And again, go and change your location where you created all your project information and then you can save it here. And then export. And then again, once you go back to that folder, you should see it's got another mini project here. Again, saved as a PDF. So once you've downloaded Adobe Acrobat, you should get an icon that looks like this, or you can find it in your applications menu somewhere along here, Adobe Acrobat. So you want to go to File, Create, Combine Files into a single PDF. Once you click on that, you should get a page up in front of you that looks similar to this. At this stage, you can go and find your original folder with all your projects in and just drag and drop the PDFs it must be the PDFs so I need to combine my main project with mini project A my PDF and mini project B PDF and you can see it places them all there once I've got all the PDFs that I want to create into one report I can click combine and you can see it's combined all of those if I click on Organize Pages over here, this should be a pop-out menu for you. You can go to Organize Pages and you should see them all there. So there's my main report, then my mini projects at the end. If you want to rearrange things, you can literally just drag and drop them into the order that you want them to be, place them around. You could delete any pages, for example, if you've got portrait ones that are just trying to be like cover pages that you no longer need, just simply click on the trash can. And then once you're happy with the order, go to File, Save As, click on Choose a different location, it comes up with a normal menu, and again I can go and find my main project, and at this stage you probably want to call your project your name.
followed by the project name. For example, you might want to call yours International Fashion and Trend Forecasting afterwards. So then it's not going to duplicate or replace any of the PDFs that I've currently got in there. And again, I can click Save. And again, this might take a few moments to save because it's got to embed all the images and save it all together. But eventually, if you go back, you should find your PDF with the full name. This is the project, the PDF, the final PDF that you'd want to upload to Orla. And finally, once you've saved your final PDF, for example, this one is my final one, Emily Stevens project name. It's where I've combined all my PDFs into one single one. Double click on it. It should open in something like preview and just check once final one final time that everything's there, all your introductions, your page numbers and your mini projects at the back. If something's missing, you need to do it again. So just have one good final read through before you finally upload it to Orla.